What's going on guys? It's your boy Birdie Blue 2414 here and I'm here with another explaining video. So in today's explaining video, I'm gonna be explaining how why do we have to dream and more importantly why do we have nightmares? Well see, I mean the the, the brain is odd, so people just think that dreams are just because you know the brain's winding down, you're sleeping, and just it's just they're main they're meaningless. People aren't Scientists aren't a hundred percent sure about why we dream or exactly how we why we dream. We do know that our dream cycle is typically the most abundant and best remembered during the REM or R E M stage of sleep. This is also pretty commonly accepted in the scientific community that we all dream. So the frequency of dreams that we remembered varies from person to person. The question of whether dreams has a psychological, bi biological, or, or sociological function has yet been answered. No, no one knows it yet. But that hasn't stopped scientists from researching it and speculating. There, there are a bunch of theories of why we dream. One is that Dreams work hand in hand with sleep and help the brain sort through everything it collects during the waking hours. Your brain is met with hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of inputs each day. Some are minor sensory details, like like a color passing of a passing car, like the color of a passing car. While others can be much more complex, like a big presentation you're putting together for a job. Because during sleep, your brain works to plow through this all this information to decide what to hang on to and what to forget. But some research feel like dreams play some research think that dreams play a role in this process. It's not just a stab in the dark. There's, there is some research to back up the ideas that dreams are tied to how we form memories. Because many studies indicate that we're learning new things in our waking hour and dreams increase while we sleep. But, I mean, there there are other theories. Another theory is that dreams typically, typically reflect our emotions. During the day, I mean, our brains are working hard to make connections to achieve certain functions. When posed with a tough math problem, your brain is incredibly focused on that one thing. And the brain doesn't only serve mental function, functions. If you're built, if you're building a bench, your brain is focused on making the right connections to allow your hands to work in cons in concert with the saw and some wood to make the exact cut. The same goes for even simple tasks like hitting a nail with a hammer. Have you ever lost focus and smashed your finger because your mind is elsewhere? Some have proposed that at night everything slows down. We aren't required to focus on anything during sleep, so our brains, so our brains make make very loose connections it's still during sleep that emotions of the day battle it out in our dream cycle if something is weighing heavily on your mind during the day chances are that you might dream about it if it either specifically or the obvious imaginary for instance if you're worried about losing your job uh to like i don't know a company downsizing you may dream that sh you're a shrunken person living in a world of giants I don't know, something weird like that. Or you're wandering immense, immensely through a great desert abyss. But, this, like I said, there is way more theories. There's there's also a theory that definitely the least intriguing of the bunch, that dreams don't really serve a function at all. Maybe it's just your brain like, hey, I'm gonna dream. Because I'm bored, so yeah. Th that they're all just byproduct of the brain firing while we're in slumber. We know that the rear portion of our brain gets pretty active during the REM portion of your sleep when most dreaming occurs. Some think that's just the brain winding down for the night and that's dreams are just random and meaningless. Firings of the brain that we don't have when we're awake, I guess. But the truth is, as long as the brain remembers such as a mist. The, as long as the brain remains such a mystery, we probably won't be able to pinpoint which absolute cer certain oh god certainty exactly why we dream. 
But this raises a different question. Is it different for nightmares? Well, a lot, a big portion of nightmares is because of stress. Most people have... Okay, alright. There, there are a number of psychological triggers that can cause a nightmare in adults. For example, anxiety is a very big one. Also, depression can cause adult nightmares. Uh, what else? Post-traumatic stress also commonly causes people to experience chronic recurrent nightmares. Nightmares in adults can be caused by certain sleep disorders. So if you have a sleep disorder as an adult or even as a child, that may contribute to why you're having nightmares. While it's true, nightmares are most com are common among children. One out of every two adults has nightmares on occasion, and between 2% and 8% of the population is plagued by nightmares. Are your nightmares causing you significant dis distress? Are they interrupting your sleep on a regular basis? If it is, you really need to try and figure out what's causing your nightmares. Then you might be able to make a change to reduce the recurrence. But let me let me start with explaining what a nightmare is. Nightmares are Nightmares are vividly realistic, disturbing dreams that rattle you awake from deep sleep. They often set your heart pounding it from fear. Nightmares tend to occur most often during the rapid eye movement. That's what REM stands for, sleep. When most dreaming takes place because of periods of REM sleep become progressively longer as the night progresses, you may find your experience in nightmares most often in the early morning hours. So if you sometimes when people will wake up from a nightmare, it will be pretty early in the morning because just random times that dreams can occur. Subjects of nightmares vary from person to person. There are though some common nightmares that people ex people have experienced. For example, a lot of adults have nightmares about being able to not being able to run fast enough to escape a danger or falling from a great height. If you've ever gone through a traumatic event, such as an attack or accident, you may have reoccurrent nightmares about your experience. So, you were mugged, or you were robbed, you might have nightmares about being mugged and robbed again. Robbed again. Although nightmares and night terrors are both cause people to wake up in great fear, they are different. They are completely different. Night terrors typically occur around the first few hours of falling asleep. So it's most likely, if you have night terrors, it's most likely not in the rapid eye movement of sleep, the REM part. Night, yeah, so their experience, their experience as feelings, not dreams exactly. So people don't recall why they are terrified upon awakening. So if you have night terrors, you genuinely don't know when or what you dreamed about you just know that you're scared and you have no clue why which might be even more scarier so yeah there is a difference between night terrors and just regular nightmares but what really causes nightmares in adults besides of course anxiety and Depression, stress. Something really odd is because some people have late night snacks, and that can one of the reasons be ca cause nightmares, and which can increase metabolism signal to the brain to make it be more active. So if you have like a piece of toast at night, the carbohydrates will make your brain more active. So that's a reason why people might have nightmares. A number of medications, I mean a lot of medications, s might make, are known to contribute to nightmare frequencies. Mostly it's a drug that act on chemicals in the brain, such as antidepressants and narcotics. 
So those are two big things that might give you that might give you nightmares. So non psychological medications, including some blood pressure medications, can oddly cause nightmares in adults. And another reason is withdrawal from medications and substance, including alcohol or tranquilizers, may trigger nightmares. If you notice a difference in nightmare frequencies after changing a medication, you really need to talk to a doctor. Another one which is kind of surprising, but weird at the same time, is sleep deprivation. It, it can contribute to nightmares in adults, which themselves often cause people to lose additional sleep. So it is possible, it has not been confirmed whether the cycle could lead to a nightmare disorder. It hasn't been confirmed. Um, there can be a number of psychological triggers that cause nightmares in adults. For example, like I said, anxiety, depression, can also cause adult nightmares. PTSD can cause can commonly cause people to experience chronic re recurring nightmares. Um, usually nightmares in adults can be caused by certain sleep disorders, including sleep apnea, rest restless leg syndrome. If no other cause can be determined, chronic nightmares may be a distinct sleep disorder. People who have relatives with a nightmare disorder are usually more likely to have it themselves, so it's somewhat hereditary. But what kind of health problems could you have having recurring nightmares? Is there any health uh, risks going on with having nightmares as an adult? Nightmares become more than just bad dreams when they have a significant effect on your health and well-being. Uh, among the people who have experienced nightmares are usually those who have anxiety or depressed who are or who are depressed are more likely to be distressed about experience and suffer even more from psychological ill effects although the relationship is not un under really understood nightmares have been associated with suicide because nightmares have a significant impact on the quality of your life, it's important to, like, consult a medical ex medical professional if you're having reoccurring nightmares like this. So, sleep deprivation, which can be caused by nightmares, which is odd because if you if you're trying to not have nightmares by depriving yourself of sleep. It's also going to cause nightmares. But your nightmares, yeah, also can cause sleep deprivation. It can host, it, it can cause a host of medical conditions, including even heart disease, depression, and obesity. If you do have reoccurring nightmares like this, there are treatments you can have because. Fortunately, there are steps you and a doctor can take to lessen the frequency of your nightmares. First, your nightmares may be a result of just a particular medical condition. You may be able to change your dosage or prescription to eliminate this unwanted side effect. Um, another thing is for people whose nightmares are caused by conditions such as sleep apnea or restless leg syndrome, Treating the underlying disorder may help elevate, I mean, alleviate some of the symptoms. So, if you have restless leg syndrome, you might want to try and try and alleviate it, and it's gonna try and, and it's gonna help with your nightmares. If your nightmares aren't illness or medicate or medication related, don't don't despair. Behavioral changes have proven have a proven effect for seventy percent of adults. Around yeah, is seventy percent? Yeah, I think it's around seventy percent of adults who suffer from nightmares, including those who are caused by 
anxiety, depression, and PTS PTSD. So there are a number of causes for dreams. Dreams usually occur during the 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 re, the eye movement, the REM stage of sleep. Nightmares can be caused by anxiety, depression, and a ton of other things. There are many ways to treat anxiety and depression anxiety and depression which treating those might help with nightmares or night terrors. And speaking of nightmares and night terrors, there is a difference between the two. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first video of you know explaining things. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also in the description I'm gonna leave a link to my channel, my main channel, my second cha my in the description a link to my channel, my main channel, my friend's channel, and my friend's second channel. So if you guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.